You may have heard the term data mining before and had a vague idea of people taking pickaxes to computers. Although this would be an amazing stress relief for anyone who has ever experienced low internet or a stubborn computer, the reality of data mining is far different. In short, data mining is a way of extracting useful data from a deluge of data, much like a miner will use a pan or sluice to separate gold from the other minerals that surround it. If one is panning for gold, they will discard rocks, sand, and dirt. When mining for data, the analysis will assist in determining whether pieces of information are valuable or useless and enable one to make better informed decisions. It may seem like anyone should be able to determine useful information without resorting to algorithms, but the more information there is, the more complicated it becomes to find said useful information. Think of it like the proverbial needle in the haystack. Finding that needle might not be so bad if the haystack is only a foot tall, but if it stretches 20 feet in the air, the amount of work required to find that needle would also increase. In this case, data mining is like a metal detector. So why is there so much information in the world? Before computers, recording and storing data involved far more work and tools such as pen, paper, ink, painting canvas, or maybe even a piece of stone and a chisel. I suppose with all the effort involved in literally chiseling words into stone, people didn't make that effort without having something of value to impart. With the advent of computers, data began to grow exponentially. Chiseling into a block of stone what you had for breakfast was probably not going to happen, but think of how easy it is to type ham and eggs delicious into a keyboard and share it with the world. Where people shop, what they buy, places they go, text they send, all of it is data that grows daily. The numbers are staggering. In 2018, more than 2.5 quintillion bytes of data were created every day. At the beginning of 2020, the number of bytes in the digital universe was 40 times bigger than the number of stars in the observable universe. By 2025, the amount of data generated each day will reach 463 exabytes globally. While words like exabytes might not be familiar, consider that only 5 exabytes could fit all the words ever spoken by humankind. Within a 24-hour period, 18.7 billion text messages will be sent worldwide. Facebook will generate 4 petabytes of data. People will watch 5 billion videos on YouTube. And hundreds of billions of emails will be sent. For a better understanding of just how much a petabyte or exabyte is, check out our other video titled Bits and Bytes. The link appears in the description below. Once upon a time, a producer could determine the popularity and audience demographics of his play by looking out at the audience. Were there more men or women? What was the age group? Were they dressed in expensive gowns or cheap dresses? Were they clapping or throwing tomatoes? Now, people most often watch television at home rather than going to the theater to watch a play. People found ways to track those numbers, but with the advent of DVRs and online streaming, numbers have grown increasingly harder to track. Suffice to say, the amount of data generated every second is so extensive that there is no way to sift through it and find anything of value without help. Data mining discovers unknown yet useful interpretations of knowledge in raw data. For humans, the formula might look something like if, then. For a computer, algorithms are the if, then instructions that are fed into it in order to determine previously unseen connections between different data points. Essentially, these algorithms are looking for patterns and trends. Although one can develop custom algorithms, some companies also offer them along with the option to customize or program them to suit one's needs. Choosing the correct algorithm to use can be difficult. Depending on the algorithm one picks, results will vary. Some analysts will combine a variety of algorithms to discover different views. Data mining might seem complicated, but in reality it provides an easier way for people to find information that will help them. To illustrate the need for data mining, let's talk about Bob. Bob is nice. Bob is opening an ice cream store. While selecting which 10 flavors to carry, he is given dozens of choices. In order to figure out which flavors will be most beneficial to carry going forward, Bob will track the sales of each individual flavor in his store. After narrowing it down to the core flavors and rotating others through, he may also discover that certain flavors, such as peppermint or pumpkin, will sell better at different types of the year. 
he will learn that he should always carry vanilla, which is the number one selling flavor. By tracking the data of his sales, Bob will enable himself to save the cost of buying a flavor that won't sell or being out of stock of a popular flavor. On a small scale, Bob has done just fine analyzing the data to determine his sales. Now imagine Bob opens thousands more stores around the world. He must stock popular ice cream flavors in many different locations. A flavor popular in Japan might not go over well in Scotland and vice versa. Tracking the data would become overwhelming and he would probably get so stressed that he would eat all the ice cream in his store and go out of business. But we don't want that for Bob so we'll imagine him onto a beach somewhere. Enjoy vacation, Bob. However, the truth of Bob's story remains. The amounts of recorded data in the world have become so overwhelming that data mining is needed in order to extract useful data. One real-world example of data mining is found in insurance. Data mining has enabled insurers to predict which insurance claims are likely to be fraudulent and thereby save millions of dollars. Seemingly random bits of information such as hobbies, degree of injury, or even the model of the car can indicate that an insurance claim should be investigated further for fraud. Data mining also allows insurers to optimize prices based on whether or not the insurance company's client is likely to pay the higher cost or shop for a new insurance company. A use of data mining that has some people questioning the ethics. One form of data mining that has seen huge success is social media. Social media often requires users to allow themselves to be tracked, even when the user is not interacting with that particular application. The social media sites are then able to sell that collected data onto advertisers. Have you ever searched for something, only to see an ad for that product on social media minutes later? Another frequently used and easy way to collect data is membership reward cards, which make it easier for the company to track when, where, how often, and at what price point purchases are made. This data allows advertisers to have a better idea of how they can encourage customers to purchase more of whatever it is they are selling. Data mining develops certain disciplines, such as viewing statistics, information theory, machine learning, and database theory. Other methods and algorithms might be developed from these same disciplines. While all data mining might seem like it must be useful, finding data correlations isn't enough. Perhaps one might discover that people who buy green jackets are more likely to eat butter pecan ice cream, but this is hardly useful information. However, discovering that custard is more popular in the Midwest than on the West Coast could be useful information. By introducing algorithms, one is able to differentiate between useful and useless information. Some of the tasks solvable by data mining are classification, regression, clustering, association, sequential patterns, and deviation analysis. In short, data mining is a way of taking an overwhelming amount of information and extracting information that is actually useful and can assist a business in making better decisions. One excellent decision to make is to hire a reliable and affordable software company to create applications. Visit us at swansoftwaresolutions.com to schedule a free discovery call.